Critica said it achieved a major milestone at its Jupiter deposit, Australia's largest clay-hosted rare earth deposit. Jacob Dazel is CEO. Jacob, welcome back to mining.com.au. Thank you very much. Nice to be back on your show. Jacob, what did you announce? So this has been very exciting for us. It's, um, we've It's a pivotal milestone, really, in the development of our Jupiter rare earth resource in Western Australia. And that is the production of our first mixed rare earth product. Now, I think really the exciting piece here for me is that this is really showing that we have moved beyond concept and now to prove. And it really showed that we can, you know, this beneficiation first approach that we've been um, speaking about previously, that flow sheet works very well. And we've produced a high quality um, rare earth oxide product. Jacob, maybe you can frame the steps that of uh, taking to this point. Yeah, I think um, for me, it's important in terms of that we've we've gone through this step by step in this progression, and it's really a very disciplined, scaled up program. And each of each of these steps were designed to de-risk the project as we move forward. So we started all very at a, at a 50 kilogram laboratory scale sample. And that, to me, really proved the amenability of our geology to this um, physical upgrading, so this beneficiation first piece. And I think that's a real differentiator for us. So we moved from there to a 400 kilogram uh, sample. And from that, we, we've announced this probably a few weeks ago that we've consistently been able to deliver this 95% rejection um, of mass relatively quick after mining. We got a 6 to 10% uplift and that produced this high quality intermediate product or concentrate. Now it's really that concentrate that we then split uh, amongst a few laboratories. So Anster is one of them, Munitech, AMML, and GABAQ. And GABAQ has now moved forward and produced our first mixed rare earth oxide product. Now, again, as I mentioned, this to me is really, it's proving that beneficiation uh, first before we leach pathway, and our next steps from this, we've, we've done that 400 kilogram. We're now going to up, upscale that again. So we've got a 3,000 kilogram uh, pilot plant stage that's getting um, ready for commissioning at GABAQ. Jacob, tell us a bit about the uh, quality of the product. Yeah, absolutely. So this has been an exceptional product. We Our first product has a total rare earth oxide uh, percentage of 84%, and we achieved a 78% recovery. Now. If you think about what's currently in the market, the TRO levels of these products really range from about 40 to 60%. So achieving an 84% is quite a significant achievement for a first pass unoptimized mixed rare of product production. And probably more so the other aspect and, and our listeners would have um, heard that I previously I'm talking specifically about the magnet the rare, rare earth oxides. So those are the ones that goes into the production of, of magnets specifically. They carry about 80 to 90% of the basket value of most of these projects. So we achieved from that 84%, 23% of that is this mixed rare earth oxides that's associated with the magnet rare earth. So I think that's a significant a significant achievement. Now, the way that we've, we've, we've obviously produced this is this material was successfully leached and this intermediate material, as I mentioned, was successfully leached using a relatively standard um, hydrometallurgy process to produce this high quality and low, low impurity um, oxide product. So to me, this is real de-risking of this. It just shows that we're moving the project from this technical value validation now towards um, commercial readiness. Tell us about those uh, next steps to commercial readiness, Jacob. Yeah, so very excited about this. Um, as I mentioned, our next step is uh, we've got the pilot plant that we we starting to commission at GABAQ in Vietnam. Um, that's a 3,000 uh, kilogram uh, pilot scale um, operation. That's going to produce more of this intermediate high, high quality concentrate for us. That will then feed into um, some of these parallel hydrometallurgy streams. So to optimize our mixed rare earth production as well as mixed rare earth, rare earth flow sheets. So we'll continue with that. And in parallel with that, um, we're moving forward, having, you know, starting to have some initial conversations with off takers. Now that we've produced the product, we can start talking about specifications around that. And then all of that information really feeds into the scoping study, which then starts to put boundaries and definition around the, the economics of the pro project. So 
very keen to move forward with the scoping study. The intention at, at the moment, timeline-wise, is we'll get that finished before the, the middle of next year. And that obviously then paved the way for us to move forward to a pre-feasibility study. And at the moment, that's penciled in to start in um, the second half of 2026. Jacob, thanks for speaking with mining.com.au. Fantastic. Thank you very much.